It's currently classified, so under the Medicines and uh, Related Products Act, it is actually classified as a Schedule 3. And it becomes a Schedule 3 when it is used, one, in the aid of smoking cessation, as well as when it's used as a substitute for tobacco products. And there's other uh, different classifications of Schedule 2 when it's mixed with uh, when you find it in, in uh, this, NRTs, for example, et cetera. And then you also have the industrial uh, grade nicotine that would be used for your pesticides and that kind of thing. That's a different, that's a different ball game altogether. But I think for us, it, it's not really about, uh, the, the classification is important, but I think the, the narrative that's driving uh, the bill that we have seeks to demonize nicotine, like you've said. So it, it disregards this uh, classification. It disregards what uh, nicotine is used for, what it is, this benign uh, product, you know, that does not do anything similar to caffeine, et cetera, et cetera. But because of uh, the political and ideological agenda, it, it has become a, a scapegoat, you know, uh, where it's no longer just about vaping or other less harmful products that contain nicotine, but it's now about uh, nicotine. And, and I mean, we've seen it quite extensively at, at, at the public hearings where you find uh, public health individuals coming in and, and not talking about the bill, but rather just focusing straight on nicotine and how it's killing people, it does all sorts of things. So it's quite clear that uh, the, the available evidence Evidence on what nicotine is and is not, and its nature is, is is ignored deliberately, simply because we are driving a particular narrative, which we are seeing across the world uh, when it comes to the classification, or rather the how we, we talk about nicotine, and not necessarily the correct classification of it under any particular act.